no matter what, love always hurts. It is the bottom, honest to God truth. Love always hurts no matter what. Whether you think you're in love and you found the perfect partner, they're bound to disappoint you in some way or another. It's never going to be perfect. You have to go through an obstacle to attain the greater goal for the greater good for yourself. And I can tell you out of my personal experiences, love always hurts. Why does it hurt? It's kind of like the way peanut butter and jelly go together. You can't have a peanut butter jelly sandwich without the peanut butter or the jelly. Love has got to have some pain and some hurt into it. Regardless, everybody's relationship that's out there has had some, has had its ups and downs. There's just no such thing as a perfect relationship. It may look picture perfect on the outside to you or me or others, but you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Um, there's a lot of skeletons in that closed door. And yeah, it's it's tough, but you guys need to know. So don't expect that a relationship is going to be all happy and great. There's going to be stuff that you don't like that your partner does. You're going to fight at one time or another. Hopefully not every day like I did with my partners. Hopefully you won't get all pissed off like I did. You know, cursing your partner out, calling them a cunt, telling them you wish their family dead like I did. I ended up doing all that. Yeah. Because my partner didn't give me what I want. Or didn't give me what I wanted, rather. Missing my birthday, not being allowed to see me because of their helicopter parents telling them what they can and can't do just because I'm a different skin color? I don't fucking think so. I do what I want in my relationship, and I think how I want to think. And for me, I need a partner that is on board with what I'm doing and understands that my needs are important, just as important as theirs, if not even more important. Call me entitled if you will, but that's my opinion. I realized a long time ago I will never be happy until I get a relationship where I am fully in control. When I say fully in control, meaning no family will get in my way, nobody will get in my way, and my relationship will just between be me and my partner. That's why I would never date anybody who really had kids, personally. Not that I don't like kids, I always wanted my own kids. Now it's kind of too late. But as I've said, when you have children, your partner's going to be always all about the children, because children come first, as I've said in my prior videos, and that's just the way it is. You have to find some type of balance if you're with somebody that's got children, and you got to get those kids to like you, and you're going to have to treat those kids like gold, you got to treat them like as if they're your own kids. If you want the girl to love you, or the guy to love you, or whatever, you're going to have to treat those kids. If you want them to love you, you got to love their kids. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. And Am I happy about it? Fuck no, I'm not. That's why I'll not date somebody who's got kids. If I do, it won't be a serious relationship. It'll just be a booty call or a friends with benefits. Because that's about all I can handle with someone who's got kids. I demand a lot of attention, so I need someone who's got time for me specifically for me, and will do the things that I want to do in and outside of the bedroom and going places. It's very important that I attain those goals that I want if I'm ever going to find everlasting happiness. And I know even then there's going to be hurt, there's going to be sadness, there's going to be anger and disappointment. It just goes with the territory. It's pretty much why I've strayed away from a relationship as long as I've had, because I just don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want to deal with the hurt. I don't want to constantly look over my shoulder and wonder, is my partner going to leave me the next day? Because I tell you, when I lost my last two partners, the one before last especially, I dove into a bottle. I could not stop drinking. I was in so much fucking pain. Emotionally, mentally, physically, my heart was shattered. And I sincerely do mean that. 
I don't say it to be dramatic. I'm telling the honest to God truth. My world was smashed because of my girlfriend's cunt, slut, whore of a mother. I fucking hate her for the shit she put me through. She just wouldn't leave us alone, reading our fucking text messages, monitoring our phone calls, following us around. And it didn't help that I dated a girl that came from a Christian family either. Because as I've said, I'm not Christian nor am I religious. Even though I was baptized, I don't like religion or organized religion. I feel that it brings down a relationship. It has no place, just like family's got no place in a relationship. At least in a relationship that I'm looking for. And as I'm saying, you know, love hurts. And it hurts. I don't know why. If I could explain to you why, I would. I'm trying my best here. And you're going to find somebody that you think is going to be your world. And when that your expectations fail, you're going to hurt. You're going to wonder why. You're going to be confused. You're going to be angry. You're going to be pissed off. And you're going to ask the universe, why? Why is this happening? Why does my partner not love me the way I want them to love me? Just like I asked all those same questions. And to this day, I still can't find the answer. But the one thing I do know is, if that person is not selfish, and you're their whole world and they love you more than they love themselves, they gotta love themselves first. They gotta take care of themselves. They can't be no weakling, no needy, clingy piece of shit who just has you around because they're out of need. It's just to say, oh, I got a boyfriend, oh, I got a girlfriend. It doesn't fucking work that way. Only weak people fucking do that shit. And my last ex was one of those fucking weaklings who always started shit and did everything exactly that I told her not to do from point A to point B. Don't do this. Don't do this. What does she do? She does everything I tell her not to do. And she didn't understand why I'd get angry. Maybe it's because she was she had retardation. I don't know. I got pissed off at her and called her a stupid retarded cunt many times over. At times I even wanted to slap her across the face. But don't do that because hitting a woman is wrong. You don't ever want to hit a woman especially a woman that you love, even if she's attacking you. Hold your fist up, shield yourself, but never hit a woman. And you'll have that feeling where you want to just slap the shit out of her. Trust me, go find a fucking punching bag or a pillow to beat up. Because you don't want to hurt the one you love, because then you'll definitely lose her. And it's inevitable. I was bound to lose mine anyways. No matter how hard I fought, no matter how hard I tried. And if you've got anger issues like I do, good luck to you, because you're going to need it. A lot of women are not attracted to guys who are angry, and a lot of women know I'm angry. That's why I don't have a girlfriend right now. Even though yet they date these thugs and these criminals and these wannabes, but yet they won't give me a chance because I'm the real thing. When I talk about somebody who's angry, I'm angry, and I'm pissed off for how I've been treated. Yeah, that's pretty much it. As I've said, you know, love's going to really hurt. It's going to bite you in the ass. And when it does, you better be prepared for it. It's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. You'll sink like the Titanic if you're not careful. So be careful and get your shit together.